This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Sunday, January 29, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout based on jet stream, precipitation, storm fronts, and water vapor analysis. Verification of fallout forecasts can be monitored at the EPA real-time fallout monitors and ear depth. Please check out FukushimaFacts.com for links to access these graphs. The forecast for Canada, the U.S., and Europe over the next 48 hours is as follows. In Canada, scattered rain and snow is currently seen on radar throughout most of the southern provinces. However, the jet stream is overlying southern Ontario up through the Gulf of Lawrence area at the present time. The cities of most concern are Thunder Bay, Sudbury, Windsor, Hamilton, Kitchener, Barrie, Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec, St. John, and Halifax. In the U.S., current radar shows rain in the Pacific Northwest with snow and freezing rain in the Dakotas, and snow in Michigan, Ohio, New York, Pennsylvania, moving eastward. This last system over the upper Midwest has the jet stream over it as well. This pattern will remain in place for the next 48 hours. On the west coast, the jet stream is currently over Southern California without precipitation. The jet stream, however, will be changing drastically starting on Wednesday, covering most of the west coast of the U.S. and Canada at that time. In Europe, a large low pressure system is currently over Ireland and the U.K. and will remain in this position for the next 48 hours, then will push down towards France. This pattern puts Ireland and the UK, especially Western UK, at the highest risk of potential fallout. Scattered rain over Southern Italy and Southern Europe at this time is not associated with the jet stream. Therefore, there is a low potential for fallout in this area. Resources used for today's forecast include CRWS Jet Stream Analysis, the Weather Office at Environment Canada, Satellite 24 from Meteo France, and high-resolution imagery from MTSAT, MODIS, NEXRAD, and NOAA. The ongoing radiation releases from the Fukushima plant in Japan and frequent high measurements that are occurring in Canada, the U.S., Europe, and more recently South America and Australia as well verify our concern for dangerous fallout conditions. Children are far more susceptible to radiation exposure Please share caring and concern for the people in your life as this threat will be with us for a long time. This forecast has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.